So secondary amenorrhea, this is the work. Okay? This is a very difficult topic. As woman, no period for two months. Three months, okay? First thing you want to do is pregnancy test. Okay? Second thing you want to do, if this is negative, good. Second thing you want to do is TSH levels and prolactin levels, okay? Two things that can cause secondary amenorrhea is TSH, if it is high, due to uh, hypothyroidism, okay? If this is the case, she can have secondary amenorrhea due to hypothyroid, okay? So you're going to see a low T3, T4, and a high TSH, okay? The next thing, going to erase this, okay? The next thing you want to do is a prolactin level, okay? We already did the pregnancy test. We already did the TSH. At the same time, in real life, you're going to order a prolactin. And if it is high prolactin, PRL is prolactin, okay? If it is high prolactin, this can be due to a tumor, pituitary tumor. Okay, if it is due to pituitary tumor, high prolactin inhibits FSH, LH secretion. If this is inhibiting FSH, LH secretion, that means you can get secondary amenorrhea. Okay. Okay, so those are the first three things you do for the workup of secondary amenorrhea. Pregnancy test always. If she's fertile, maybe she's not using protection. She's horny. And she's sleeping like crazy with many men or just one man. Pregnancy test is first, okay? Your second test is always going to be TSH prolactin. I have it written two, three, but you get them together. You want to rule out these causes first. Okay? Part 2 is coming up. I will show you what to do in part 2. Okay? Okay? Okay.